welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a review for a Van Clarence Commodore. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> it was super blurry last time I did a review so hopefully this time it's okay. Uh, yeah, that one there. So this is one that's uh, for, um, it says anti-blemish concentrate and it is actually designed for people with oily blemish prone skin um i don't know why but for whatever reason no matter where you go and doesn't matter what like the brand is every time there's acne it's always for oily skin oily skin oily skin that's really fucking annoying like can they just make one sorry side note can they just like make one that's suited for maybe dry skin because that's a thing as well like just because you have dry skin doesn't mean you can't have blemishes so <laughs> anyway <laughs> sorry it just really annoys me for some reason it's just why can't they you know like it's not just oily people that have this problem um it's just frustrating. Oh, there's a hair stuck on my lip. <laughs> anyway, um, don't get me wrong, just because it's for oily skin people, it doesn't mean that if you have combination skin or dry skin or rosacea, I, I don't know. It doesn't mean that you can't use it. It just, it's designed to, uh, for people with oily skin in mind. I have dry skin myself, so I didn't really have that many options anyway, so obviously I had to pick a product that has oily for oily skin people. But anyway, um, I just look at the part that says for blemish prone skin because for me what I've noticed is I didn't really, to be honest, I was pretty lucky in my teens, I didn't really have this problem of breakouts or anything. Um, I had like one pimple like every so often throughout my high school like I'm not saying my skin is perfect but I just didn't really have this issue it's not until my mid-20s did I start having the issue of what is called hormonal acne now I wouldn't say my skin is to a severe level of hormonal acne so I'm very grateful for that but what I have noticed personally for me and I can't be the only person out here what I have noticed is I have a seriously hard time controlling the amount of whiteheads I get on like my jawline, my cheeks, and like just my chin area. Oh, and just a few like under here. Now again, it's nothing crazy. It's not like, whoa, like, you know, I wake up with like a face full of whiteheads or anything, but it is annoying and it is noticeable and it does make me want to not go outside sometimes, you know? And I'm sure other people are in this position as well. I think what happens is my skin gets really clogged up and I just wanted to find a product that would help with that. And if you are in the same position as me, then I think this will really benefit you. So, yes, I am actually gonna talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of wanted to give like a whole uh, overview of why I bought this um, and not, not just because it's targeted for the reasons it says here. So, this is like this really interesting um, product. I have not come across something like this before. Uh, basically, it's. I actually read that it's a moisturizer, but it doesn't say moisturizer anywhere on it. I thought it was a serum. But apparently, it might be a moisturizer. I'm not really sure. But, and on the uh, product website, I actually got this from Chemist Warehouse. Um, so, if you live in New Zealand or Australia, that's probably the best place to get it because their prices are extremely reasonable compared to everywhere else and they seem to stock a lot of the Aben products as well as La Roche per se just a side note um so yeah I <laughs> um so yeah this is why I bought it I just like I said I just wanted something to keep the whiteheads at bay because for me the reason why I have a problem with the hormonal acne like very mild but still there is because I think of the contraception that I'm on personally that's I think that's the reason why I've just noticed that I never really seemed to have an issue beforehand in saying that if 
I wasn't on the contraception, I think at this point in my life, just because of hormones and things which happen to us females unfortunately, um, I think that would also happen regardless. I think it's something to do with the progesterone, I'm just... This is the research I've done for this, so this is why I think it is. Again, your reasons could be completely different, so I'm not saying this is the only reason, I'm just saying this is the reason for me. Anyway, I've noticed that um, a specific time around the month, um, I get like really clogged pores, and I notice that I get like whiteheads because of it and it's just like an increased amount. So I wanted to find something that would stop that because you know, you pick at it and then it just like makes a mark and then it takes so long to go away. And then you just waste all your money on all these like dark spot treatments. Like can anyone relate to me here? It's just a vicious cycle. And yes, okay, I cannot pop it, but then it just stays there. And I do have, uh, quite a few products I've found that do help with like immediate treatment which I will do a review on because I think those products are actually really effective um, anyway so yeah this is pretty good at uh, managing that now in saying this um, for people who also have more moderate to severe forms of acne or blemish prone skin I think you will also find this to be effective. Now I'm not saying it will rid your uh, problem uh, completely but I'm just saying it will help keep what happens to you at bay. And this is not targeted specifically for people with hormonal acne or anything so this is not for that. They actually do have a product in this line for people with hormonal acne. Um, I think it's called the Tri Acne or something uh, product. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, but that's also worth checking out. I think they do have three different ones, I believe. They have this one, one for people that have like a different acne problem and then one for like hormonal acne but this one is specifically made for like blemish prone skin so I think it will be better suited for people that uh, have maybe a mild to somewhat moderate um, I'm just not really sure if this would be the best product for people with really bad like really bad breakouts um, I hope you're finding this helpful um, I have been impressed with this product. I have really enjoyed using this product. Um, it has a weird smell to it. <laughs> um, I can't quite explain it. It's like somewhat, initially I was like, is that alcohol? I can't tell, but from the uh, products, it's from the product uh, ingredient list, I couldn't immediately tell you if it is. It's just got this really weird smell. And I think it's because of whatever they use uh, that's in here. I think that's what, I, I don't know, something, uh, so, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you'd have to look it up. I actually throw a box in the little leaflet that comes with it. But yeah, the, the uh, ingredient that they've patented is the smell of it. It goes away though, it's not, um, it's, it doesn't linger, it's not like a strong fragrance or anything, it's just the smell of the ingredient. It's not offensive or anything and like smell, it's just like a weird smell that I'm pretty sure no one has ever come across before this. Like I haven't. <laughs> Something thistle I think, well, I don't know. This guy who works for a Ven, like the scientist, I think he like patented it and it's like his special thing. Um, anyway, they have, it's like unique to a Ven. I found this to be really, really helpful. It did definitely, I think within, I would say the first two weeks, it says something about it taking longer or something for you to fully see the results. I haven't used it for a total of eight weeks, by the way, just because I have finally just bought some retinoid cream or gel. Um, I bought the Adapalene, the Difference Adapalene, so I actually want to see how that works out. And I 
didn't really want to use this as well as that because I feel like one of them is more than enough. You probably don't need both. It's a bit of an overkill. So I just wanted to see how effective that one would be for my skin. So I've stopped using this now, but I did use this consistently for at least three and a half weeks to I would say just shy of four weeks and I actually found this to be very very helpful I am very impressed with this product it definitely helped keep my whiteheads at bay um, I noticed a significant less reduction in my blemishes or breakouts whatever you want to call them on my skin and I'm not just talking about the ones here that I spoke about earlier about me um, getting like hormonal acne or whatever I am also talking about just like the regular um, breakouts that you can get you know just from whatever my skin I have found is just for some reason, I don't know why, it's just prone to getting uh, breakouts of whiteheads. I don't really have a blackhead problem. I will have a tiny blackhead once in a blue moon, if that. And it will be so minuscule, honestly. It's pathetic. It's like not even a decent extraction video. It's not satisfying at all. <laughs> um, not that I want heaps of them or anything, but you know what I mean? Like when you extract it, just it, there's some satisfaction to it. Yeah, so I don't really have that problem. I don't get red pimples at all. Oh, uh, speaking of which, so <laughs> I just hit my camera tripod. Sorry about that. Um, speaking of which, with this product, what I found to be really interesting, and I think it's worth mentioning, um, a lot of people might experiencing what's called skin purging in the beginning. I certainly did. Within the first week, I noticed I got this little tiny red pimple, which I have not had since high school, by the way, when I was going through uh, puberty. Um, and I was like, what the hell is this? Um, you know? And then I realized that it's probably because of this. Skin purging is something that can happen. It doesn't mean that the product isn't working or anything. It just means that, you, it, you know, it's sort of, I like to think of it as, it's really just getting in there and cleaning out your system, if you will. Um, obviously, if you're having a bad reaction to it and it doesn't go away, then definitely stop using the product. But skin purging is not as bad as people think it is. It's not the same thing as a breakout. So it's not like it's giving you more breakouts or anything. And the thing that I noticed with this is in this area where I got this red pimple, it's the same sort of area where I always get a whitehead breakout. Like, you just, you know, you have like specific spots on your face and you always get the same sort of pimple or whatever acne in the same spots, like without fail every time. Yeah, so I noticed that this pore got like really big and you know, it just went into a red pimple and it just got to a point where it was really big and I was like, oh my god, this is so gross. But this is when I realized that this is actually really good because it was doing its job. And now, you know, I haven't had any breakouts in that area. It's really just, and even if I do, I've noticed that they don't stay very long and they're much smaller. So this is really good. Um, is it perfect? No. Unfortunately, you know, if you're prone to blemishes of any kind, whether they're whiteheads, blackheads, whatever, you will always just get them. That That is the downfall. But will this help? Yes. Will, would I recommend this? Yes. I really, really like this product. I've been pretty impressed with the products that I've uh, purchased from this brand. I will obviously show you what this product looks like. It's like a serum-y sort of, it's very lightweight. It looks like that. And it's, so you are actually, this is probably more than enough for like most of your face because it spreads really, really well and it goes, a little bit goes a long way. So, you know, it's just like full coverage pretty much. And it has a little bit of a matte finish, 
but don't worry people with dry skin like myself it's not so matte that it's drying it's obviously got that matte finish because of the it's you know designed for people with um, oily skin in mind so obviously that's why it's like that but in saying that if, if you can see this it's not very dry looking and I think it's fine has that weird smell but <laughs> goes away very quickly so not a problem yeah I'm very impressed with this I'm glad I bought it I couldn't find that much information about this online but um yeah it was I'm glad I bought it um and yeah once I finish using my um different uh gel I think I will go back to this because that one's a retinoid and it's like I just don't really see the point of using that and this one together um I will also do a review on the uh different adapting I definitely recommend this and let me know what you guys think if you have tried it or if you want to try it what your experience was with it I'd love to know and yeah, I hope you found this review helpful. Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place today. It's just really warm and my mind's just... Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to. And yeah, bye.